Currently 6.30 in the morning. Camped out at Cottonwood Recreation uh, site, whatever, last night. That was probably one of the worst sleeps I've ever had. It was super cold and I have a minus 11 sleeping bag and it's only zero degrees right now, but I'm also getting sick. I can feel it. I've got like a super sore throat. I've got a headache. My stomach was hurting all night. I'm not gonna let it stop me though. We're, we're gonna push on. Sitting in my car, heat's on full blast. Got the heated seat on. Just waiting for the fog to clear and then we're, we're gonna make it to Kamloops. It looks like it's gonna be another beautiful day. Uh, clear skies, not a single cloud again. I can see the stars right now. So I'm really looking forward to sunrise in the mountains, especially these mountains here. They're absolutely gorgeous. I can't get over just how beautiful it is up here. So I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. Got the MacBook charging, charge station. I bought this thing for like 70 bucks. It's even got like a little USB and two plugins. It works great. Got service. It's kind of hard to see, but there's this little recreation area um, with this beautiful blue lake. I might go snag some shots. I probably look so funny with this hood on. <laughs> All right, so it's about seven in the morning, and I got Old Red with me, Big Red. We're gonna grab some shots of this lake because it is absolutely gorgeous looking. Check this out. The sunrise is about to happen on these mountains. Hopefully it happens soon, but no guarantees. All right, so it's a little hard to, the camera doesn't pick up the color of the water very well down there, because you're so on the same level as the water. So I'm gonna go back up there and uh, Got the Subi parked. Subi's parked and happy. Look at those mountains. Look at these unfortunate power lines. Um, they're really noisy actually. They make so much noise. It's ridiculous. So here's my other vantage point. Um, Blue Lake, beautiful mountains. This is like incredible. Life is awesome. Sometimes I wonder if anyone's ever been up there. Subaru. I'm pretty hyped about that. Now time to go to Lillooet. Hopefully there's a Starbucks. Um, I'd rather not use up all my data replying to texts and messages and emails. Lillooet, come through with the Starbucks. Damn! It's, it's a dam. Single lane bridge, here we come. Look at that water. The water's green. It's amazing. Down a random logging road, we're gonna we're gonna take it. We're gonna go we're gonna go see what's up. Oh, private driveway. That's no good. All right, so I went up the private drive, and <laughs> it was actually kind of cool. Um, some dude drove by. He didn't even stop or say nothing. He just gave me a wave. Kept on his way. So I don't know. Maybe it's cool that I'm here. Hiking up this little game trail right now. So it's these beautiful, I don't know what the exposure is like, but beautiful sunshine on the tops of these mountains overlooking uh, Lillooet. Let's go get a better view. There's a dog barking at me in the distance. I think he hears me talking to the camera. I will say it's a pretty incredible view. Update. Lillooet did not have a Starbucks. We're gonna keep on until we get to Kamloops. Sketchy, sketchy, sketchy. But we made it alive. Woo! It's currently eight o'clock and it's warmed up a bit. Psych.
Just made it to Kamloops, and we have a Starbucks. It's dope. All right, just leaving Kamloops right now. Got some work done at uh, Starbucks for, yeah, I was there for probably about an hour. I was editing some photos, putting some stuff together. Had my decaf Americano. I've really been trying to wean myself off caffeine uh, lately. I would be drinking three, four cups a day of like really strong coffee. And on the days I wouldn't drink it, I would go through such bad withdrawals that I just decided maybe I should just lay off the caffeine a bit, so I drink decafs. Anyways, um, leaving Kamloops right now, on our way to Lucier Hot Springs, I think that's how you say it. I didn't get to go to Keyhole Hot Springs yesterday like I originally wanted to. It's closed, there's bears, I didn't want to risk it, I decided to respect the law. So Lucier Hot Springs it is. First cloud I've seen all day. Nice little quick pit stop, uh, just outside of Revelstoke here. Because this mountain view is just so gorgeous. Look at it. Ain't it? It's definitely a lot more smoky on this side of Revelstoke. I'm not too sure what's up, but people keep getting out of their cars to inspect the situation. We've been stopped in traffic now for maybe, I don't know, 10, 15 minutes. Everyone's getting a little antsy back there. While everyone is out of their cars and inspecting the situation, I decided that this is the perfect time to eat some yogurt. Hoarding on wheels. Passing through the town of Golden right now. And all the leaves everywhere are just yellow. It's quite the sight. Quite the beautiful little town for sure. Topped up my gas tank in Radium Hot Springs. Grabbed some pepperoni sticks because I was kind of hungry. And I'm on my way to Lussier Hot Springs. It's not like uh, a place where you go and pay to use it. You literally drive up a logging road and you kind of like hike in and there's like some natural little hot springs there. So I'm really looking forward to it. I didn't get to go to Keyhole, so that's why I'll be going to Lussier. I feel like this claw is totally coming at me right now. Okay, we're on our way up into the mountains. Still got some sunshine on that guy. Looking forward to this, it's gonna be sweet. So here's the, uh, the back road that I'm driving on. And literally this is the edge of the road. Like, how crazy is that? It goes so far down there too. A little river at the bottom. It's chilly out though, I'm freezing. We found it. I don't know if a beer would work, <laughs> but a rum would work. Rum and karaoke. You mentioned how messy that would be. Rum and karaoke and hot food.